Welcome to Random Gun Stuff, episode two. Pretty sure it's episode two. I sort of suck at these things. I generally write, and then I save it as a draft, and I never publish it. Anyway, my name's Eric Zander. This is DeConde. He's my co-pilot. He's a good boy. So today we're going to talk about something that's been on my mind for a while. How these things usually go. So I go to the gym, I get motivated, and I get like an idea. Usually it's because I'm all jacked up on pre-workout. I'm super jacked up on pre-workout right now. So while I was there, the worst thing possible happened. My wireless headphones died, and I'm like, man, I don't want to talk to people. I don't want to listen to this music. So get done lifting, go hop on the bike for a little while. Don't go away. Hop on the bike, and I'm like, you know what? I, I need to write about this. So I write like 800 words or so, somewhere around there, and it just it's all discombobulated because I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew, Grandpa. So I'm like, you know what, let's make a YouTube video because I like writing better because I have a face for radio. And I mean, who would want to listen to my shit? I like writing better, but a lot of people don't because this is America and readings for you know. So we're going to talk about first impressions and being sort of an ambassador to the gun community and just generally quit being an asshole. So you go to any Facebook gun group, reddit ar15.com any gun forum you'll see the you know stop being poor comments and the first four or five times you know you hear that it's like oh that's funny you know that's good shit right there you know fuck this guy fucking psa ar15 with his chinesium scope and shit but it was funny for a while but now it's just like oh, okay cool so what you got to think about is whether you like it or not, you are an ambassador to the gun community. And first impressions really matter. I mean, aside from, you know, being a uh, shitty website writer who doesn't really write or do anything. You know, I work in firearms, sales, retail, all that stuff. And first impressions really matter. It's like, you know, if you go out on a date with someone, are you just going to be a complete asshole and just parrot things that you've heard online you think... That you think are funny? Probably, but should you? Like, no. First impressions really matter. So, we've all heard the stereotypes, you know, the asshole gun shop clerk who, you know, they're preaching, you know, I carry a 45 because they don't make a 46 and two world wars and get the little lady a snub nose 357. And you always read about horror stories like that. So, like, what's different between that and just drive by comments on Facebook or whatever, you know, stop being poor? there's not it's the same thing so the thing you have to keep in mind is like a lot of times these people they're first-time gun buyers and as the saying is you don't know what you don't know so who are they to know if they have no frame of reference that you know xyz brand ar-15 pistol whatever is a complete piece of shit so they'll post up on, you know, usually a Facebook gun group because those things are the scourge of society. They'll, you know, check out my Chinesium 15 blah, blah, blah. And they're super stoked about it. Like, they're fucking jazz. They are genuinely, legitimately excited and they just want to share their excitement with everyone. So what value does it offer anyone if you hop in there and be like, ha ha, stop being poor? Like, nothing. If this is their first foray into the gun world and you know they get 60 comments and 45 of them are stop being poor that thing is a piece of shit like go kill yourself like that's not a good a good first impression to make and there's a lot of people who you know they're left leaning and they decide they're going to get into guns and they find some discussion for them and they're all stoked about their purchase and they want to learn more and they post it if everybody's making fun of them like they're going to be like yeah, fuck this. This isn't for me. Gun guys are assholes. I see why they want to ban this stuff, you know. Fuck these guys. So don't don't be that person. You know, stop being poor. It's everybody says that shit and it's getting so old and overused and annoying. And I myself, I say it, but you have to know your audience. You have to know your group. If it's like a running joke in a group, okay, cool, but like so like I say it to people you know, co-workers. I'm like, yeah, stop being poor. Fucking buy that Knight's Armor and SR-15. Because I'm always about helping people make poor life choices with finances. 
But if you're just doing drive-bys online and not adding to you know to the discussion, like why? It doesn't help the community at all. You know, if somebody does post up about their gun and like at work we tried doing this thing where it's like find one good thing to say about every gun we have. And it's like, you know, Taurus G2C, and it's like, fuck, I am completely drawing a blank. But it's like, oh, uh, you know, holds more rounds than anything else in its price range. Like, just find something constructive to tell that person who's stoked about their first purchase. You know, if it's something they bought XYZ brand AR, and you know the castle, to, or excuse me, the buffer nut, or the receiver extension nut, is not staked be like hey man congrats on your first purchase you know you might want to stake the the castle nut on there because they you know xyz doesn't stake them it's really easy to do here's how you do it you know enjoy like give good feedback make them feel welcome um now more more so than ever the the gun community seems fractured um it's always been you know little groups like you always have you know 1911 guys versus Glock guys, AR guys versus Glock guys, uh, the world against Springfield XD guys, and you know, fuck those guys, XDs are garbage. But still, the community's getting more and more and more fractured. You know, people are calling each other gun snobs, shills, pores, all that stuff, and it doesn't really help anyone. It doesn't help anyone at all. So like, why keep that going and fracture the community more and more? With all the stuff going on nowadays, like, we all need to be more united than ever. So why just be an asshole for no reason? Like there's a time and a place for it, but if you're just constantly being a dick to people and you've got nothing to contribute to the discussion, why do you do it? I don't know, like boredom? Like I have better things to do. I could be mining void voidables right now. But it's just, it's, it's frustrating to see because it's, it's the majority of what you see. And we're all ambassadors to the community and the sport. You know, we should be more welcoming of people. You know, a lot of people may not have the frame of reference you do, or they don't know that whatever they just bought is absolutely hot dog shit. So be welcoming. Don't be an asshole. Like, give them constructive feedback or drop some knowledge. Negativity only gets you so far, and if... All they see is constant negativity and they're that first time gun owner and they're sort of left leaning you could completely scare them off the community and they'll be like you know fuck these guys these guys are a bunch of assholes i don't give a fuck if all their stuff gets banned so that's my main school of thought oh you're back he's a good boy he wanted to be here for the finish So basically to sum it up, quit saying stop being poor. I expect that to be said in the comments a bunch. Just don't be an asshole. I mean, it's simple. Help people, mentor people. People don't know what they don't know. I mean, help them out, help them along the way. Most people I know, myself included, getting into guns, you know, we had people that we knew that we could get good information from. Um, but don't use sole sources of information, you know, confirm things, uh, do your own research. And it's just, be nice. It's really hard to do nowadays. I mean, when it comes down to it, if somebody posts about something and you feel like you want to comment, stop being poor, how about you try saying one nice thing, one nice thing about what they did. Maybe for that person, that's all they could afford. They saved up months and months, skipped meal, eating top ramen, whatever, and that's all they can afford. Like, at least say, hey, congrats on your first gun, congrats on this, just, uh, just be nice. It's pretty simple, like my cat is right now. He's being nice just for the sake of being nice. But he's the goodest boy. So I think that's about all I've got right now, because I don't want to go longer and sound completely retarded, which I already have done probably. So I try to do more content when I'm all jacked up on pre-workout because that's when I think I have my best ideas. Probably not very good though. Yeah, have fun. Dekande and I say bye-bye.
Follow me on Instagram, Eric, with a C and a K, as God intended, RGS. That's where I do most of my shit posting. AR15.com as well is me, Murphy. Facebook, random gun stuff. And for a new video, every 18 to 36 months, subscribe to this. I have nothing else.